everyone. It's Nona Grace. I wanted to see if the light was on. It's on. <laughs> and I'm from Western New York. Today I did some catching up on my videos, but that's what I do on Sundays. I have to catch up on people that I don't get to see very often. But I want to share a couple people with you today. I want to share, first of all, Florentine Tees, and he did, and it'll be the Florentine Tintis Plus video or channel that I'll be sharing, but I will also be sharing. He did a he did a song with his school, the uh, Forest Road School Sign Language song, and I found it. I did some searching and I found it. So I'm going to put the links into his song and how the signing is. So if those of you that are interested in sign language, um, it will show. He will show you. The signs to the words that and it was walking, tomorrow building world together, friends and getting along were the words that he will show you and he will also show you the forest road how to do forest road, and I was watching um Mich um Marsha Mush and stuff also, and she had mentioned and she would left me a little emoji and it was a cute little emoji and it reminded me of. How we used to always do that too with the kids or with even with my mom. I made her a wooden sign, but I can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. I have to look for it. I really have to search. I thought it was on the steel door and then I thought it was on one of the refrigerators. It's a magnet. It's a wooden magnet that I made and it's the I love you sign. So if you want to tell somebody you love them, this is how you do it. So I love you. Um, I also wanted to share, share Church's Family Farm. I was watching that one, and he was showing how to pull up T-posts, and you don't need a, a T-post puller. He was using the T-post pounder that you would put the posts in with is what he was using. So I'll put the link in for that one so you can watch and see how he did it. So those of you that are pulling up your T-posts to move them to a new spot or have are using T-posts, for anything that you may have put it in and you don't want it there anymore and you want to move it, it it's, it's, there's an easy way of pulling it out. I also want to share a little video with you. I took a little video of Jim working and of Mr. Brown, so we'll go to that right here. Like, wow, you've got a lot done. Look at this. He's got four of them done here. Holy three. Or three? No, there's four. Yeah, there's four. There. There's four. There's four. Got two here and two over here. Look at this. Oh, they're Those beautiful. Be Those are beautiful. Pieces. The last two I'm going to have to piece one, together. This one you're piecing? Yep. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's going to be beautiful just the same. You do really nice work. Well, I try. You try. You do really good work. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody says that you do, and I say it too. Look at he's Mr. Precise. He's he's got all these tools that he measures it just so. Hey, it's got to be right for uh, for me. For you. <laughs> I don't know if I would notice if it wasn't, unless it was really bad. But this is going to be great. Oh my goodness! We can keep yeah. working. I'll just catch whatever you do. It has to make like a pilot hole so that the plexiglass doesn't crack. Right? Yep. I'm like if you were hanging a picture on a wall, you should make a pilot hole so that they don't crack your plaster. But a lot of people have wallboard. They don't have plaster walls anymore. Even with wallboard, it helps. It helps. Perfect. So he's counter Chamfering. countersinking. Chamfering. See, there's a itty bitty hole there. That's it's going to be where the screw head will be flush with the top. Wow. See, you do make it nice, extra nice. I guess. 
<laughs> you guess, I know. <laughs> it just, I don't know, that's just the way... You I do things, do I know. It, it always turns out lovely. Well, I'm going to go back down. I'll okay. talk. Okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I keep drifting downward. That's all right. I'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye. Alrighty, bye. There he is again. <laughs> I didn't say goodbye. I said goodbye, but I didn't leave. <laughs> oh, dear. Mr. Brown is outside again. Hello, Mr. Brown. Oh, hello. Will you come over to see me? No? You back away when I go to touch you. But you let me pick you up. You're a good little chicken. Did you want to go in? Shall we try it? Huh? Do you want to try it? In she went. Let's see what happens. Oh, she's going to go over there. He's crawling, isn't he? He wants, he wants a snack. You want a snack, too? Come on, Emma. Okay, I'll come get your snack. Whoops, sorry. Oh, you followed me out. Look who followed me. I have, to get a, I have to get a snack for Pretty Boy. He was up on the railing. Did you want some snack too? Come on. You gotta go back. Okay. Here, girls. Here, chick, 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 Shut the gate. All right. And there's Mr. Brown. Where are you going, Mr. Brown? And there's all of them getting this chicken scratch. It's cold out here today. There's Emma. We'll see if Emma goes back into the nesting box. I actually put a couple eggs under Emma. There's little lady. Hello, little lady. Let's see. When they hop over each other, it kills me. Your little ladies look alike. You're not little lady, but you're Emma. Look at Emma's bushy tail. How you can tell Emma. She has a tail that is really bushy. And Mr. Brown, look at all of them. Oh, and they make a bunch of noise. And this is Rosie. Rosie, you've lost a lot of feathers on your head. Must be the rooster likes you. You're, you've got a little bit of redness going on. Hmm. You're not a true Asimani then. Oh, no, don't you dare bother her. Did we want to go back out? Um, you coming? You want to go back out? You'll follow me, I'm sure. If I go out, he'll go out. See, she follows me everywhere I go. I gotta go back in. It's too cold for me out here. The cold frame is going to really be extra, extra nice. He was working on that, and he's, and is it done? Do you have a, the windows done? The, all the framework and is done, and the panels are all on it. I uh, have to put them on and figure out how to hold them in place with the wind we get around I here. I know, it's very windy. That's the hard part. We've tried to put up a little greenhouse and every time we do it falls over or the wind destroys it. So we haven't been able to do that. But this is made out of plexiglass and wood. So hopefully it will do better and you can anchor it to the, hopefully to the raised bed is where it should probably go. Mm -hmm. So I can put some things in there earlier because our season, we actually can't put anything in the ground until the last week in May or the first week in June. 
and then right around the end of September things start to get chilly and that's when the peppers start to show that, that they're getting the dark marks on them and the, they slow down they don't grow as fast and the ones that are on there aren't going to get any bigger because the season is now winding down so I wanted to know how did you make it through the less one less hour some of you didn't have to turn the clocks back I learned in my comments I wish we didn't turn them either sometimes but it's kind of nice to have the the longer daylight time at the end in fact when I walked past Mr. Brown I says oh I better put you to bed and then I thought no it's still daylight I don't want to put you to bed yet it's still bright out the other chickens haven't gone to bed they probably won't go to bed until more near nine o'clock as the days get longer I don't know it's been they've been going in around 4 30 5 o'clock so maybe today they'll be like be 6 30 or 7, seven o'clock somewhere yeah. in there it's already uh, it's already seven and it's still daylight so it's not going to be yeah, seven o'clock maybe it'll be eight o'clock or nine o'clock they'll go to bed I don't know I don't lock I don't put Mr. Brown to bed until the all the ch other chickens are to bed and they are still out and about I hope you made it through the day without getting too sleepy. My dog, I fed it at 6 o'clock instead of 5.30. I, because I'm going to gradually work it to, I think I'll just do 6 o'clock all the time this way. It will be like 5 o'clock when, when the clocks turn back instead of 5, because he really, he, he will bother, he will bark at me until I pay attention to him. And he does that anyways. It's like a kid saying, Mommy, 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 and tapping you and constantly. And you can't even think when the dog is doing that, just like when you can't think when the kids are doing that. That's, I guess, it for now. If you And if you'd like to see the signing, go to Florentin's video that I'll put in, and it will show you. And until the next time, this is the new sign. I love you. Bye.